flag gets ready to fly it is Robert Lynn out front in the number nine with Tyler Meckel. That's your front row. Kenny Gill, Cody Center, row number two. Steve Sabowski, Dennis Losing, Josh Workmeister, Tate Johnson, Zach Griggs. The field of nine as Raymond Doyle. Did not make it back on the racetrack in the 17. J.C. Parmley not going to make it out as well. As they're still cranking on that car. Green flag in the air. 40 laps of distance here for the IMCA stock cars. And the parachute comes out right off the bat for Robert Lynn, that number nine machine. As they go three wide, getting stacked up. Cody Center on the inside. Tyler Meckel for the race lead. Give the race lead over to Cody Center as Tyler Meckel is going to pound the outside of the racetrack along with Steve Sabowski in the number 82. Trying to find some speed as Meckel trying to cross over Cody Center as they come up lap number one. They're side by side. That lap went to center by a, about an inch or two over Tyler Meckel. He's still right there on the inside of the dollar machine of center off of turn number two. Going to drag race down the back straightaway with Steve Sabowski in that third spot ready to pounce on these top two leaders. Off of turn number four, they come. A lot of smoke coming to the back side of Zach Griggs, number 28Z. Of course, he got DQ'd after qualifying for illegal tires. Looks like he has a tire rub right there. So all sorts of issues there on the tires of the 28Z of Zach Griggs. Has the front four fan out now. Single file. Josh Workmeister works to the inside of 15 of Dennis Losing. Cody Senior race leader, followed by Tyler Meckel, Steve Sabowski, Kenny Gill. Still side by side, though. Workmeister on the inside of the 15 machine of Dennis Lozing. Now it's going to be Sabowski trying to hold off Kenny Gill in the 119 as Gill looked to the inside. Sabowski, though, with a strong run. Off a of turn at number two, going to hang on to it. Longest race of the year for the IMCA stock cars. Here at Arizona Speedway, 40 laps. And right now, the top six drivers, they are all running nose to tail as Kenny Gill once again peeks his nose down the inside of Steve Sabowski. Down the back straightaway they go into turn number three. Sabowski up on the top side of the racetrack. Kenny Gill down the inside. Josh Workmeister tried to mount a charge. Goes off the racetrack, off a turn at number four in the 21J. Car snap loose. See, so will creep through the infield. J.C. Parmley does get refired in the 82P, it looks like. And <laughs> As Josh Workmeister does get back on the racetrack, he lost a lot of ground to your top, to your leaders here. As right now, it's a four-car breakaway from the 15 of Dennis Losing. As Kenny Gill right now able to get down the inside of these drivers just cannot complete the pass as Tyler Meckel now puts the pressure on the dollar machine of Cody Center as they work off a turn more forwards Cody Center leading the charge on the top side of the racetrack with Tyler Meckel in second Steve Sabowski up top along with Kenny Gill down the inside of him Kenny Gill trying to get some bite off a of turn at number two but Sabowski's so strong as Tyler Meckel with a little bit of a wiggle off a of turn number two they're side by side now for second Sabowski the outside of the 71 of Meckel J.C. Parmley gets, does get back on the racetrack, but he has several laps down in the 82P machine. So J.C. Parley, six laps down. Cody Center right now trying to hold off Kenny Gill, who does sneak by Steve Sabowski, getting ready to come up on the backside of the number nine of Robert Lynn. As your top five drivers still running nose to tail on the racetrack. Tyler Meckel from second to fourth right now trying to hold on to that position. Here comes Dennis Lowe's in the 15 machine. Main event winner last year, brand new car this year. As Cody Center looks to the inside of a Robert Lynn. Lynn gets a little squirrely off a of turn number two. Both Center and Gill able to get by him. As now Kenny Gill to the inside of Cody Center off a of turn number four. It's Gill down the inside, that right front. Hunkering down the inside of the track, and he will get past Cody Center in the dollar machine. So Cody Center gets passed up. New race leader, 11 laps in. But here comes Center right back, trying to cross or move down the back straightaway. They'll drag race down the back, shoot into turn number three. Gill up to the top side with Center down low. Gill drives it in deep, though, into turn number three. Off the race, off the top of the racetrack at turn number four, he'll hang on to the race lead by a car length over Center. Just ahead of these drivers is Tate Johnson. His top five drivers were able to get past Robert Lynn in the number nine R. 
as Josh Workmeister right now running six on the racetrack. Will be your last car in the lead lap if Kenny Gill can sneak his way past Tate Johnson, the 413, as Dennis Losing has issues, number 15. He's gonna take his car off the track. Your fifth place runner having issues. His afternoon is done here in the day's 40 lap IMCA stock car main event. So we have just 25 laps to go at the stripe. Kenny Gill, the man out front. Tate Johnson, one lap down. Right now being used as a buffer between himself and Cody Center as Cody Center still cannot clear the 413 of Johnson. Now he finally will be able to go into turn at number three. Steve Sabowski going to try to follow suit as well on the top side of the racetrack. J.C. Parmley brings his car back into the hot pit area. Issues continue for the A2P of Parmley. As Josh Workmeister just trying to race his way back up into contention for a podium finish here today in that 21J. It's Kenny Gill, your man out front, off a turn at number four. 23 laps left. Cody Center in second. Sabowski third. Meckel fourth. Wertmeister is fifth. Those are the five cars on the lead lap as Kenny Gill has issues off a of turn number two. Very slow on the racetrack. Center goes back to the point. And Kenny Gill cannot get the car refire. That car idling very slow down the back straightaway. The yellow flag will come out as he is not going to be able to get it to the opening going into turn at number four, or turn number three, that is. So it's Cody Center out front, followed by Steve Sabowski going to take the high line. Tyler Meckel, Josh Workmeister, the lead lap cars. And green flag is back in the air with 24 laps to go. And Cody Center drives away from second, third, and fourth on the racetrack as Steve Sabowski trying to hold off Tyler Meckel as Josh Workmeister trying to make a three-wide battle down the inside, the 71 of Meckel. As yellow flag does come out once again for the 413, this time of Tate Johnson, who spins around off a of turn number two down the back straightaway. And the green flag is back in the air. So Cody Center once again will drive away from Steve Sabowski who tries to leave Tyler Meckel on the high side, but Meckel got to fight right back down the inside. Josh Workmeister, the last restart, worked the inside line. Now he's going to choose the outside line, but Meckel kind of slams the door on him. Now Workmeister to the inside of Tyler Meckel. Josh Workmeister up to the third spot. Tyler Meckel back to fourth. Steve Sabowski in that second position, about three car lengths behind the dollar machine of Cody Center, your race leader. Those 22 laps to go for the IMCA Stock Car 40 lap main event here this afternoon. It's your top four drivers, the only cars on the lead lap. J.C. Parmley, he is several laps down after starting the race down the pits. Robert Lynn, one lap down the number nine. As Josh Workmeister has lit the wick on that hot rod, he looks to the inside of the 82 of Steve Sabowski now for second. As they work their way off a of turn at number two, still side by side. Sabowski up top, Workmeister down low, down the back straightaway. Workmeister going to drive it in deep. Sabowski trying to hang on though on the top side of the racetrack as they work off a of turn at number four. The cross flags are up. And Josh Workmeister trying to move his way up into that second position. They're still side by side though, Workmeister and Sabowski. <laughs> Off a of turn at number four, give the spot to Workmeister now. As he is gonna try to reel in the dollar machine of Cody Center as both Workmeister and Sabowski were able to reel in as now Workmeister goes around off a of turn number two. He gets back, in, he gets back in the gas, but we'll lose a lot of ground. Still on the lead lap in the fourth spot as Jock, Josh Workmeister started to spin around right in front of the 82 of Steve Sabowski. Sabowski made just the slightest of contact with him trying to avoid 
plowing in the 21 Jay of Workmeister, but Sabowski right now putting the pressure on the dollar machine of Cody Center. <laughs> so Cody Center, race leader by about a car length now over Steve Sabowski, and then it's the lap car, J.C. Parmalee. With the third place runner, Tyler Meckel, Josh Workmeister just now coming off a of turn at number two. Definitely gonna need the help of a yellow flag. If he wants to get back into contention of this one, as it's been an up and down day for the 21J of Workmeister. It's early on in the race. He was running in the sixth spot. Went off the racetrack, kept it in the infield, stay on the lead lap, then came back and was getting ready to challenge Cody Center for the race lead before spinning off a turn at number two. Now here he is in the fourth spot. Laps winding down, but he's got a fast hot rod here. There's only just 14 laps to go at the stripe as JC Parmley once again brings his car off the racetrack. Cody Center, your race leader off a of turn number two. Going to be catching the backside of Robert Lynn here momentarily to put him another lap down as they race off a of turn number four. He'll look to the inside. Robert Lynn will give your race leader the inside line. So Cody Center makes quick work of him. Steve Sebastian is going to try to do the same as Josh Workmeister all over the back bumper of the 71 of Tyler Meckel down the inside of him off a of turn to number two. That's a battle for third on the racetrack. Into turn number three, Josh Workmeister slides up across the nose of the 71 AZ of Meckel. And he'll take over third once again. Is there enough time, though, for the 21 J of Workmeister? Robert Lynn going to give him the inside line. Workmeister will get by him as J.C. Parley comes back on the racetrack. <laughs> 11 laps to go. I think there might be some time here, at least for Workmeister to make this thing race here for the lead. So he is definitely the class of the field right now. He is in a 20.425 that last lap, two tenths quicker than Cody Center. And this time by almost a full second quicker than your race leader. So Josh Workmeister has found some speed. Daytime is the right time for him as he wears it off a of turn number two, throws up a little rooster tail. As center has driven away from Sabowski. Here with just nine laps to go. So eight laps to go. Cody Center right now has a pretty sizable lead over Steve Sabowski. That last time by Cody Center was the fastest car on the racetrack. Josh Workmeister lost something. He was the fourth fastest car on track. That's Steve Sabowski. Hits the marbles going into turn at number three. Loses a little bit of momentum. As that time, Workmeister right back to being the fastest car on the racetrack, 20.125 to Cody Center's 20.705. Almost a half a second quicker was Josh Workmeister from Cody Center. If he can put these laps together here over the next handful or so, he could be right back in contention. Once again, the fastest car on the racetrack was Workmeister, 20.128 that last time by. Trying to catch up to the back side of Steve Sabowski. Needs to hurry up and make quick work of him as it will be five laps to go this time. And this is the lap. Workmeister has to work his way around. Sabowski, if he wants to have a shot at Cody Center. That's Cody Center to the inside of Robert Lynn to put him another lap down. And Workmeister to the inside of Steve Sabowski. The battle is on for that second spot now. Off of turn number four. Sabowski and Workmeister once again. Duke it out for that second position with Workmeister down the inside of Sabowski. Those two yellow hot rides side by side. Workmeister almost lost it. And that's probably going to seal the fate for Cody Center as he drives away from this battle for second. Josh Workmeister just could not get by the 82 machine of Sabowski. 
He might get another chance at Sabowski, but I don't think he's going to get a shot at Cody Center as they race off a of turn number two with three laps to go. Now will be two laps to go for Cody Center, your 2019 Arizona Speedway track champion. Didn't have the most wins last year, but he was consistent all year long here at Arizona Speedway. And it definitely paid off for him as the white flag will fly for Cody Center. Cody Center brings it off at turn number four. One final time here in the 2020 IMCA Stock Car 40 lap main event. He'll start off the new year with a race win. Steve Sabas comes home in second. Josh Workmeister third and Tyler Meckel in fourth. He can hear you now. Race fans make some noise for him. Well, I don't know if you knew what was going on behind you there, Cody Center, but you had those drivers start to breathe down your neck, but somehow at the end you found another gear able to drive away. Yeah, I was uh, just trying to survive for a little bit, and then when Candy went flying by me, I'm like, all right, we got a race going on right now. I was, I was actually heartbroken to see him break. Uh, I want to apologize to Colin. He just put this wrap on. I see him up there. I just burnt the shit out of it, so sorry, buddy. Um, thanks, thanks to Jonah for letting us come out here and race with the stock cars. Thank you to your fans for coming out and enjoying your hangover with us. I thank uh, Taryn, Garrett, my dad, Don Hagen, uh, First Responders Plumbing, uh, just everyone who helps out on this car. I hope you guys enjoy the Bombers because it's going to be a hell of a show. Definitely will be a hell of a show indeed. We'll see you back out here next month because the IMCA Stock Cars will be running the Arizona Modified Tour. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm right here for at least two of those days. <laughs> All right, Cody Center gets 2020 started off with the main event win.